Now, although the UK uh, overall has voted to leave the European Union, its constituent countries voted differently. In Scotland, the overwhelming majority opted for remain. 38% have voted to leave the European Union, just over a million people. But almost 62% voted to remain. That's more than a million and a half people. Turnout was at 67.2%, a little bit lower than the national average. Well, TRT World's Sarah Morris has the latest from Glasgow. Well, while the UK generally may have voted to leave the European Union, it's a very different story here in Scotland. Scotland has overwhelmingly voted to remain in the EU. Around 62% of people who turned out to vote uh, voted for remain. Now, if we break that down city by city, it was around 74% to remain in Edinburgh. And here in Glasgow, it was around 67%. Voter turnout, though, very disappointing. It had been expected to be between 70 and 80%. In the end, it was more like like 67 percent and the Remain campaigners are now copying a lot of criticism uh, that they didn't do enough to encourage people to get out and vote. But this does have some wider implications and possibly could be the start of the disintegration of the United Kingdom. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon, the first minister here in Scotland, she has said that the vote proves uh, that most of the Scottish people want to remain part of the EU. That's where they do see their future. And this means that perhaps uh, a little uh, clause could be triggered here which could see a new independence referendum in Scotland. Uh, there is a clause which says if Scotland is forced from the EU against their will uh, then they can call for a new independence referendum and certainly here uh, it could be argued that uh, it's England who has voted to leave the EU because their population is so much bigger than Scotland so Scotland has been forced from the EU against their will.